Hello friends. Today we will see the best way to make an introductory presentation. This is our presentation where we list the services our company offers. This can be used for the introduction of product, a team or even a feature. It looks like a lot of work but it just takes a couple of clicks and the choice of curtain you want. Let us go through the process step by step. As you can see, these are the services we offer, but it looks very simple and maybe even boring. What we can do now is add a curtain effect that will make it look like the curtains are removed, revealing the content of the slide. To do this, we move to the slide we want to have the curtain effect on. Then we Head over to the transition tab and look for the curtain effect. Clicking on the effect also give us preview of what to expect. As you can see, we now have a black curtain revealing the content of the slide. This is because there are no slides prior to this one and it still looks very simple. So let's add a blank slide before this. What you will now see is that you get the same color of the curtains as that of the previous slide, which in my case is white. However, it is still looks very simple and bland. So what we can do is get a curtain picture of our liking and insert it into the previous slide. The picture can be from either our folders or you can use other online sources. In our case, we have added the image from an online source. This looks better, but we can also add our company logo on the top of this curtain image to make it look even more presentable. We can also reduce or increase the time it takes for the transition to complete. We can see the slideshow. Another thing we can do is highlight only a particular service at a time. To do this, we can make this slide as a picture and we can paste it on another slide. We also use the design tool on the top right to fit the picture to the slide perfectly and make the picture gray. Now we paste the same picture on the slide again and match the two pictures perfectly. Now we crop the image and just have the first service and its details by selecting crop with shape where we can choose any shape. Here I am going to use rectangle. Be sure not to move the picture at all as this can give a poor result. Next, we duplicate the slide and crop Again with the second service this time. And then we duplicate the slide again for just the third service. And finally keep the original First slide copy at last. 
we must remove the curtain from the last slide by selecting transition and none. For the next step, we need to select all these slides and then from the transition tab, we need to choose morph. Using morph, we can give a smooth animation to these slides as you can see here and can also change the time take or the speed of the animation. Now, if we run the presentation, we can see the result. It looks pretty good. We hope this was helpful and you will be able to use it in any future presentation. Although these tricks might not be for regular use, but we hope you will be able to use some of these tips to make more appealing and memorable presentations. If it helped you, consider forwarding it to your colleague and subordinates who you think can benefit from these and also consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any other tips that we will be putting out.